it guys welcome to my home studio my name is kelly and on my channel i like to share planner videos art videos recipes crafts diys mixed media happy melon hauls fountain pens and fountain pen ink and sometimes i will throw in a lifestyle video so if any of those genres sound appealing to you feel free to comment like share and subscribe and without further ado i have another haul and this time it's from jet pens and this is the Twisby Eco in clear with a stub 1.1. It has silver hardware, piston filling, and I got this a long time ago, back in on May 28th, in fact, 2020. So I just haven't had a chance to ink it up. Look at that little stub nib in 1.1 calling my name so I thought I would ink it up and this is a new ink also and it is the La Artisan Patissier purple violet in English violet violet in French and it is another one of those scented inks so I have three of these I have the blue lagoon ocean oceanic and the rose and now the violet so all three are scented so, let's pull out my smart little swatch book here and just get started. I think I'll open it. I'm just, I'm really busy and I work a lot, so I just have to give other things my time and so that's why I just couldn't ink up until now as it were so all the usual suspects i have my um automatic pen in 3a and i like to use this for swatching in my swatch book it works really well And this is my first time using this ink in particular. And this is relatively new. I've already shared a haul on it. It smells quite divine. And I don't even have it up close to my nose. And I can still smell it. Which is totally awesome. I love being able to ink up a brand new pen. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I just didn't. Oh lord, I got that wet. Have the chance. The opportunity did not present itself. So, and I have a bunch of other things to do, but I really wanted to use my pen. Know what I mean? So I like to put the English here. Purple, violet, and then it's just violet, violet. Oh, wow. That's nice. I mean, I can totally smell it from here, but putting my nose right up to the bottle. <whistles> lovely, lovely, lovely. Have to say. So I'm going to set this to the side and let it dry. And then just grab a color ring card right beside me. I like to do different swatches, so. And 
it really makes a difference and it puts out just looks different when you use the different methods to swatch it different accoutrement as it were so purple violet Try to get as much off, especially with these scented inks, because it makes the paper just smell wonderful. And it lasts quite a long time. I really like using the scented ink for snail mail with my pen pals. Just gives it an extra little something. I wanted to make sure I get the excess off of that before I put it on the lid because it'll take a long time to dry if you don't. Oh, this looks really deep. So it'll will be very interesting to see how it dries, in fact. You know? Because, and also, the different surfaces you use makes a difference. It really does. So... There's that little nugget. Okay, now the pipette. It's really dark and deep. Very nice. Okay, so now I get to fill it up. Yay! Walking on the wild side by putting that on my book here, but hey, you only live once. Counterclockwise. I try to get as much as the excess off of it I possibly can because I don't like to waste at all. And then I have my Ackerman pen wiper here. And again, I just wipe the excess off. Nice. Okay, hopefully. Looks good. Okay.
and that is purple violet. Jet pens as well. And in French, violet, violet. Okay, that looks good. And then this is my Louis Term 1917. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it down in here as well. I think you want to see the full pen, right? There you go. Okay, so that takes to the paper really nicely. Um, it's a very pretty color. It's a very pretty pen. I like, again, being able to see the ink right through the barrel there. Beautiful, beautiful. So I have the Eco, the Twisby Eco, which is a hexagon lid, and I have the Twisby Eco T. And the difference is... This is a hexagon. Here's the eco T. This is a triangle at the top. And that's the only difference. I have both the same brand of ink in each of these pens. This is the Artist M to CA. This is um, Pink Rose. <laughs> and this is the Violet. You know what I did? I copied the one above it. It's, it's I put legume legume blue. I'm gonna cross that out. And I'm gonna put what it is. Which is an English pink rose. And Rose Rose in French. Okay. I'm glad I caught that. I didn't write that on camera in the last video, so I'm going to start a new page for the next pen in this book, that is. And then here you have it. On the Tomoe River paper in my What's Up Inked Up book log. And then here it is here in a nice swatch. Beautiful. And then I have my swatch card right here. And it is a deep, deep purple. It does have some even gold undertone in it, as you can see right there very well at the bottom. It looks really nice. I hope it'll show up on the camera. And you can see it on the Fifat side too. Okay, folks. There you have it. That is my share. And I will leave that out to dry for a couple of days. The swatch card. 
couple few days. You know, I'm not worried about it, but I don't put it in my um, swatch book until it's completely done. So that is the beautiful pen. Highly recommend these for anybody at any level of writing. Thank you ever so kindly for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I wish you all a very beautiful day. Peace out.